I'm standing in Rue Princesse, the site of the brothers' first school in Paris in 1688. De La Salle came here almost certainly to avoid being restricted to having, having schools only in the Archdiocese of Reims. It was here at the invitation of Monsieur de la Beaumondière that he came, undoubtedly prompted by his own brother Jean-Louis, who was a student at Saint-Sulpice in those days. The school eventually had as many as 400 pupils, the brothers living above the school and four classrooms, each containing obviously close to 100 pupils. The school was also important in the development of a whole style of education. It was a one-way street at the time and 400 pupils assembling early in the morning before the school could be open undoubtedly caused some difficulty with the neighbours. We read therefore in the conduct of schools that a child could be given the key and the door was open at 7.30 and there were very careful regulations about how the pupils were to enter, one by one or two by two, take off their hats and salute the crucifix in the main entrance, go to their place, adore the presence of God, sit down and begin to work. And this they saw modelled for them at five minutes to eight when the brother came. When the brothers first began here, they found that the afternoon classes were taken by Monsieur Raffron, a weaver who used the work of the children for his own benefit. The brothers did not like this explo exploitation of the young and eventually Monsieur Raffron was asked to go. This caused difficulties because he owned the premises, but eventually peace was restored. The place was important as a place of residence for the brothers at various times from 1706 when they returned to Paris after the schools had been closed for some time due to the work of the writing masters who opposed it and the difficulties they had also with Monsieur Jolie who was responsible for the schools in Paris. As a beginning, as a first effort, we can see in the conduct of schools how much this experience of Paris marked the development of a whole style of education which we eventually find framed in very, very interesting ways in the manuscript and then in the printed version of the conduct of schools in 1720.